It's time to review Mera. Hey guys, me host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Mera. Mera from the new Aquaman movie. This is the basic figure in the series. I believe this is meant to be part of Wave 2. As you can see on the back, they're also showing a different version of Aquaman. And they're also showing... Um, I forgot his name. He's one, of the, he's one of the guards, right? But either way, we've got Mera in this collection. And there's from that artist render in there. She looks awesome. Look at that face sculpt. I can't wait to break her out of the packaging. She looks awesome. These are by Mattel, guys. And these are a part of the basic range for the movie version of Aquaman as a part of the DC Universe. So guys, these are from Mattel and they are just £10 each. This one is kind of hard to find. It's probably going to be readily available very soon. I did spend £15 on this on Amazon, but they are worth 9 99 I paid the £5 extra to get a bit of early access to this bad boy. And uh, Amazon had this in stock in France, so paid a little bit extra, but I managed to get it. And that's what the main thing was. I just wanted this mirror. I didn't want to have to get the true moves, the 30 centimeter one, I wanted this one. So guys, let's bring her out of the packaging and check her out. I love that these boxes were in the style of the Aquaman um, logo, by the way. The Atlantean sort of logo. Okay. Now the basic figures this time round, because bear in mind this is just a basic figure, this isn't part of the multiverse range. The basic figures have been pretty good this time round. So here she is guys, out of the packaging, and look at that face sculpt, she looks beautiful, really like that. I love that her hair looks layered as well, which is kind of nice, with the crown over the top. Her hair is actually made of like a soft vinyl material. Almost like a rubber. And you can look left and right, as well as up and down a little bit as well. Her arms do lift up and do rotate there at the top hinge, as well as at the elbow and rotation as well. Hands are also on a ball joint, which is nice. She does swivel at the waist as well. Her legs don't lift out, sadly, but do go forward with a single hinge knee and no further articulation in the foot area. So these are basic figures, uh, but I love the design of them. They did a really good job at making these feel awesome. And this particular figure feels quite rubbery and bendy. I mean, that's down to the, what, what they've done to make it look like uh, her costume. But the figure really looks like the actress. I'm actually blown away with how much it looks like. It's brilliant. I can't wait to see her in the movie. We only got a sneak peek of her in uh, the Justice League movie, so can't wait to see her properly. She doesn't come with um, any form of like Atlantean sort of weaponry, but she does come with these two detachable um, sort of pieces, which I think are meant to be her controlling the like oceans, I think. I think that's what that was meant to be, but I could be wrong. But let me slot those onto her hands. There we go. So they do just slot on like that awesome what do you think guys are you a fan of this one let us know in the comments down below but let's go to the desk cam where you guys can get an up close personal look at this figure and see what you think about her so let's go to the desk cam okay guys here she is out of the packaging looking awesome i really love this mirror she looks amazingly good loving that head sculpt as well it just looks so much like the actress can't go over that so I place it down here on the stand. We can zoom out a little bit and take a full look at the figure. Um, I'm loving the design style of the way they've made the costume look. It really does look like the version from the movie. Um, we did, like I said, we did get a little hint of her in the Justice League movie, and this costume is pretty accurate with the movie version. They are releasing a Barbie version of her as well, and I'm tempted to pick it up because the Wonder Woman uh, Barbie was amazing. So I'm really thinking they might have done a really good job with this version as well. Sorry, I'm getting messages. People, I've still got my Wonder Woman up there, actually. The end of that. She's still up there, and so I've got one. She's got one there as well. So I'm tempted to grab the Mero one to go with her. So I might be doing that, guys. So stay tuned for that review if we do grab one. 
Uh, I don't want the 15 cent, the sorry, the 30, 30 centimeter one. I just don't think it looks that cracking. But Merritt looks pretty awesome. I'm loving the hairstyle and the way it looks. It looks like actual hair. And uh, yeah, I think they've just done a great job at bringing this figure to life. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Well, here, guys, let's also take a look at what she looks like with other figures in the range. So let's just get that camera focused again. There we go. Here she is with Orm in the range. And with Black Manta there as well. Oops, I'll just drop one on the floor. And of course, we've got Aquaman as well. So move him down a little bit. Bring in Aquaman. There's the whole set. That's all the set we've got so far, guys. I've reviewed the other three on the channel already. If you haven't seen those reviews, please check them out. But yeah, that's what they look like together, which is awesome. Um, they've really gone to town with these face sculpts this time around, and the styling, like the capes and things, have just been amazing. Um, DC have gone all out with their basic range. I think Marvel have a ways of catching up yet. What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments below. People have also been asking me for more comparisons in our videos. So here she is stood at the side of Batman, whose foot just decided to go on a problem with spaz. There we go. Batman from the Justice League movie. That's how she sizes up to side Batman. That's about right, though, I would have thought. That's about right scaling. I mean, Ben Affleck's a big guy. That's how I would have thought Mera would be at the size of him. So that's good. Sorry, I just dropped Merit. Let me bring her back. And of course, then we've got other mirrors that we've collected. That's the Throne of Atlantis uh, DC uh, collect collectibles version. And then the ridiculously tall Bombshells version, whose legs are wonderfully... <laughs> just don't stand on her own whatsoever. <laughs> Put those back against the wall there. That might be a little bit easier. There we go. So there are the three side by side of the mirrors that I own so far. I've only got the three mirrors though, sadly. But um, yeah, I would like to pick up that multiverse version, but I think I'm going to wait until they drop a little bit in price and become readily available here in the UK. I'm not paying £30 for it when I've got the basic for 15 But what do you think, guys? Should I get the multiverse version of the mirror? Do you think it's different from this one? Do you think it's different enough that it warrants another version? Let us know in the comments. I think the basic one is spot on. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Let us know in the comments below. So guys, my final thoughts on this one. I'm very excited to see Mera in the movie Aquaman. It comes out in the next couple of days. I'm really excited to go to the big screen and watch it. Oops. It's been a film that's been I've been longly waiting this one. I love the the movie version of Aquaman and how they've kind of modernized him. And um, you know, they just it's gonna be a great movie, I hope. I hope it's on par with the likes of Wonder Woman. The DC universe right now could really do with a break. So I mean I hope that this movie is awesome. Early reviews are stating it's good, so I can't wait to go see it. She is awesome though. This figure is worth every penny. I've just had a quick look and yet you can still grab this awesome figure on Amazon. Um she's currently listed up. Uh, still at the price mark of £15 with free delivery if you have um, Prime, uh, which I have. Uh, if you know, if you've ever got Prime, it might cost a little bit extra. It is coming from France by the looks of it still. But it does state this is a 6-inch Aquaman mirror action figure. Authentic costume, actor likeness with weapons, 14 points of articulation uh, and you can to enable iconic posing. Full assortment creates a dramatic collection, and each action figure is sold separately. So £15.13, and it arrives before Christmas if you still want this figure. Definitely check it out, Amazon.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm hoping to still get the Aquaman in Royal Armour, uh, as well as uh, the General Merc, which was the other figure on the back of the packaging. So those are in the Wave 2, along with a repack of Aquaman and a repack of Orm. So those are the four that are in this ver in this wave. But I'm hoping, guys, that I can pick Arthur Curry up in his uh, gladiatorial armor. Because obviously you can you can use that one bare chested as well, which is a bit more like the movie. Because obviously in the film he's, he's quite bare chested for most of that trailer by the looks of things. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Let's go back to the main cam, though, and finish this video off. 
So guys, what are your thoughts on this mirror figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please smash that subscribe button. It would really support us, really help us out, and help us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!